Hello and welcome to this Come to Jesus Daily devotional. I trust you are well. Today we reflect on the truth that the light and glory of God speak to us of his holiness. Let's read from Psalm 76 verse 4. You are radiant with light, more majestic than mountains rich with game. If ever you go to a show or concert, there's a massive use of lighting. If, for example, you watch the Olympic opening ceremony, you would have seen a, a massive use of light. Without lights, not much would have been seen. Light is used to draw attention and to make visible, particularly in the dark. Also, Added to the idea that light makes something visible, there's also that light projects something, the message or moral light that's being projected. And unfortunately, there was so much dark messaging within that opening ceremony. Light has these two main features. Light makes visible, but light projects a message and truth. The Lord is often described in terms of light, The light of the glory of God is designed firstly to draw attention to him. God's light is expressive of his nature. We are to worship God with the understanding that he is light and contains no darkness. In fact, darkness is expelled in his holy presence. We read in 1 John 1, 5-6, This is the message you have heard from him and declare to you, God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live out the truth. Now there's so much that could be said on this subject of God's light and today I simply want us to see that God's light, his glory, tells us that he is holy and without darkness. He is good. In all his ways, he is good and truthful. He is without sin. In response, how can you and I fill our eyes and inspire our spirits with the glory of God? A key method by which we gaze on the glory of God is to meditate on and worship out of the moments in scripture where God, where God particularly reveals his glory. We live in a world where the ways of God are often judged as evil and repressive. The light of God is called darkness, oftentimes. If we're not wary, we can allow this dark form of light to shine on us. And we may also begin to accuse God and to doubt his goodness. Therefore, it's vital that we seek to get a truer vision of God as light, so as to be able to say, you are radiant with light. God bless you.